In this video, we will show you how to load and expand Quick View in a Power Structure browser. Let's take a look at this engine assembly. It has sub assemblies such as head mirror, head, and crankshaft that were identified and designated for generating the Quick View. The Quick View was generated by configuring the published rules as a separate process. You can view the state of the different sub assemblies under the Quick View column. Now let us see how to load and expand the Quick View for these sub assemblies. To load the Quick View, first set the preferences for the respective browsers. Under Visualization, click Dynamic Structure and select Quick View. For this example, we will enable the preference for the Part Structure browser. Remember that these preferences are applicable only to the supported windshield structure and content browsers. Let us go to Visualization tab. If you select the engine assembly, you can see that the Quick View column shows the state for its different sub-assemblies as loaded. As the Quick View is generated for these sub-assemblies, only the outer surfaces are loaded which results in faster loading of the large structures. Now, if you need to interact with any child nodes, you need to expand it from the Actions menu. Click Quick View and select Expand Quick View to Next Level. Note the change in state in the Quick View column. As the child nodes are expanded, you can interact with the child components. Once your work is complete, you can load the Quick View again from the Actions menu. Click Quick View and select Collapse to Quick View. Quick View is now loaded and you can access only the outer surfaces and not interact with the child components. You can also perform the same actions for loading and unloading Quick View using the checkboxes. Let us consider this crankshaft sub-assembly where the state is loaded. You can view the outer surfaces of the sub-assembly but not interact with the child components. Now, when you select the checkbox, the quick view is expanded, enabling you to interact with the child components. Note the change in state in the Quick View column when you select or deselect the checkbox. You can also view the Quick View in Creo View. Select the engine assembly and click Open Structure in Creo View. Now in Creo View, if you select the crankshaft or head mirror sub assemblies, you can see that the Quick View is loaded. Select the head mirror sub assembly and on right click, click thumbnails and select expand 3D thumbnail to next level. This allows you to expand and interact with the child components. Now, if you want to load the quick view, click thumbnails and select collapse to 3D thumbnail to load the quick view for the sub assemblies. These examples have illustrated the advantages of using Quick View for visualizing large structures. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, see the help topic.